designer, an innovator, who brought technology to the theater that had never been used before to enhance the experience. We think of him as a teacher and a mentor. And of course, the godfather of sound. But we also must look at how he got here. How many load-ins and load-outs? How many concert events? How many star acts? How many lectures? How many hours spent creating a union for Broadway sound designers? If you, any, if you remember that. And how many Broadway shows and tours seen and heard all over the world? How many actors and actresses asking for more monitors? I never asked for one. That's why I'm married. But you ask for them all the time now. How many producers yelling, hey, it's too fucking loud? Or directors yelling, I can't fucking hear that. How about all those times someone just yelled A because there was nobody else around to yell at? <laughs> Deserves a medal for all that shit. <laughs> Abe is so respected and revered that a lifetime award seems insignificant. He is his own lifetime achievement. He is so loved by this community. I wonder if any of us would even be here tonight without Abe. But for all the reasons we are here tonight to celebrate my friend, I would like to add one more. It's on a personal note. I've known Abe for over 40 years, and without him, I certainly would not be standing here tonight. I would never have been hired to do my first show of Vida, and therefore I would have never met my wife, Lonnie. I would never have come to New York. I would never have had my two sons, Jack and George, and I never would have had my first beautiful granddaughter, Margaret. Thanks for all that, Abe, really. This is far too long in coming, and one thing we can all agree on is that we love you, Abe. You changed our lives and the lives of countless other people with your brilliance and kindness, and for that, you have already achieved a lifetime. Thank you.
privileged to be going back to Monterey for the recreation of that, that event. Uh, if you love what you do, it seems like it was only yesterday. A sincere thank you to John and Helen Meyer of Meyer Sound for sponsoring TSDCA and for our long friendship. And thank you too to the other TSDCA corporate sponsors, DNB Audio Technic, DPA Microphones, Figure 53, Elacoustics, Electrosonics, Lighting and Sound America Magazine, Mask Sound, Point Source Audio, and Timex. A lifetime of achievement is only possible because of all the others who help you on that path. I've always tried to work with clever people because they made me look better. <laughs> and to all those clever people I trained and mentored over the past 40 years and have now found their own place on Broadway, I owe a responsibility of recognition and share this award with them. Some of you are here tonight, and to others who are now out working, uh, doing the things actually I could be doing, my gratitude for you for being the visual. <laughs> <laughs> what makes theater special is that it's only now. That's why we work. That's what we do. However, not now, but then, I was presented another Lifetime Achievement Award by USITT back in 1999. So I suppose it's possible to attain two Lifetime Achievement Awards as long as they're different centuries. <laughs> uh, Steve Jobs once said that the destination is not the important thing, it's the journey you take to get there. That's the reward, and that's what finally makes the destination worthwhile. <clears throat> my journey through this lifetime is my reward. Life, according to Bob Fosse, is like a show out of, in out-of-town tryouts. You keep working on it, and when you get it right, you bring it in. Well, my show did come in and had its run that's now closed. But now I'm out of town working on that third act. Maybe I'll get it right. And who knows, I may even bring it back in. Yay. So thank you all very much. <laughs>